Hi, this is Sean, and thanks for joining me. I just wanted to take a quick moment to insert this little bit about Google Forms and YouTube videos. Didn't want to do a big fancy production on this video because it was just a real quick add-on to the Google Drive class. And, you know, as we use Google Forms and Google Docs and spreadsheets more and more, we find that there's all sorts of different ways that you can use them and all sorts of new features that keep popping up. One feature that's really great is that in a Google Form, you actually have the ability to insert a video. And the thought process that keeps popping up all over the web is that if you can insert a video, then you can create a form with questions and then you actually add a Flubberoo script onto that and it becomes a full lesson with questions and it can be graded as a quiz. So just to show you really quickly how to do that, I'm going to create a basic form, go to my Google Drive. Now remember for Google Drive you do have to have a Gmail account and you go to drive.google.com and I'm going to create a form and of course it goes through the basic process of having you pick out a theme if you have that feature set up and I'm just gonna give this a quick name call it lesson one and in this section I'm going to click insert and choose video now by clicking insert video it automatically allows you to do a YouTube search and I'm gonna do a search for my channel to find one of my videos. Once you found your video you just click on the video and hit select and it drops your video right into your lesson or your form. I'm going to give this a quick name and I'll click done on the video and that's how it will appear on the form. Then I'm going to go below and I'm just going to add a really quick question and we'll throw some responses on that make it a multiple choice and we'll throw one more on there and then click done and I'm not going to add a bunch of questions to this because it's not necessary to the process but if I click view live form we get a sense of what the student would see and of course we can see the video and of course when you hit play on the video you can make it full screen if you want to and then when they're finished watching the video they have your questions that they can answer and then they can click submit now if you remember from previous videos you can set up inside your spreadsheet a script called Flubberoo which can be used to grade your 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 form or your quiz um, that is a separate video that's part of the Google Drive class so if you if you check that one out it'll explain uh, how to set up that script and how to find it um, because remember with every form that you set up there is a a spreadsheet that gets set up to collect your answers adding that script to your spreadsheet gives you the ability to generate a report that grades the responses to the form that you set up so I know that's really quick uh, to go through, but if you pause this video and rewatch it, you can see how to quickly and easily add those videos in. And it's a great idea for flipping the classroom. Just create your video content, and then if you want to add a little bit extra to the homework that the kids are doing when we're, they're watching your videos, make a form and insert that video into the form. And then when you're finished, click Send Form and choose the embed option highlight your embed code and then you can go to your web page and embed the form with the video and everything right there on your web page so it's much easier for the students to navigate to find and complete to give you an example I've set up a class for my flipping the classroom course and I'm gonna go in there and add a resource and I'm gonna add a page to my course on my website and I'm going to show this as an example
But what I want is for this to show up on the page as an embedded piece of information. Now, like you remember, I just copied the embed code. So wherever you are, whatever type of website you're using, whether it's Moodle or Blackboard, most of those sites have the ability to add HTML code. So when we say embed a video or embed a form, we're talking about the code, the HTML code source for that video. So I'm going to click HTML and I'm just going to right click and paste that code that they gave me from my Google form. I click update and as you can see here there is my video and my question that goes along with it and the submission button and now my students can navigate to my page and what they'll see is this and this is their homework they can watch the video answer the question and then the next day when we come back to class we can discuss what they learned from the video well I hope this was a bit of a help to you and uh, providing a great tip for using Google Forms and YouTube and we'll see you next time.